private man for to move towards self dissolution. This might seem a bit odd, but as explained by Neil Diskin, so why stop now? Well, even the wildest of adventures can become the theme. Startling ideas, cliches, and most radical gestures are a source of light entertainment. Space imagery has become increasingly banal and retro, featured in numerous adverts and pop videos. We don't want to be the space industry's court justice when cannabis itself is being openly contested, as seen in Seattle, the city of London, in the last year. 2000, page 13. This point made here by District is quite clear. While the AAA was intended to and did act as a part of the national recomposition, it was not intended to be an end in itself. Footnote number 18. To act as an end in itself would all too easily slip into the form of aesthetic escapism that might be said to characterise many forms of science fiction, not particularly concerned with its politics. But the AAA did not want to fall into such a trap, not to end up generating more imaginal fodder for the capitalist image machine, and thus choose to dissolve in 2000. ET sold out to the capitalist communication company, but the AAA had no intention of doing so. In other words, the members of AAA sent some potentiality of space imagery to support a recomposition of one point, but also realised that such is not permanent and that would be a short to be better to move on to something else. <laughs> Title, Out of Space and a Communist Other to Come. We really don't think it's worth going through all the effort of getting into space just to live by the same rules as alone. What attracts us to the space exploration is the possibility of doing something differently. We're not interested in finding out what it's like to work in space, so find new ways of Thus, ERR various times worked on events and campaigns with groups such as Food Not Bombs, New Jersey Anti-Racist Action, Palestine Solidarity, and New Jersey Indie Media Center, and various unemployed workers' unions and community groups in Argentina. Uh, Suzanne Cesare uh, had in mind when she observed that if we see a suffering and sensitive, at times mocking being, which can be recognized as our collective self, appearing in uh, our legends and stories, we would seek in vain the expression of this self. We sense that this disturbing age will see a ripened fruit burst forth, irresistibly invoked by solar ardour to scatter its creative energy to the winds. 1996, page 96. Each wound accumulated over the years, each hope frustrated fills a part of your pain and disappointment. Often I wonder what the heck keeps us going on, despite such hurt affected in a walk that is supposed to be beautiful, trustful, liberating, rejuvenating. I do not know any more or forgot what I once knew. Perhaps these glimpses have had, here and there, planned or spontaneous, with friends or with strangers, glimpses of the best in each one of us. In love, risk, togetherness, joy, labour, and yes, in pain and disappointment. It seems to me that there is no first reason we must hang in there, except the reason we can provide for, and with each other in the midst of this insanity that passes for reality left and right. What can I say? But that if we fail to be that reason, at least we fail better. I can commute I'm tired, it's 3 a.m. The desk is stacked tall with too many things to be done, too many projects that have fallen behind schedule, and ideas that will come to fruition beautifully. If only there was time for them to be during the past decade in Italy and Spain. I know having spread more broadly. There is this emerged a discussion about parity of various labour, footnote number one. Describing conditions of unstable, short-term, flexible, highly exploited labour, these discussions and the organising based around them have sought to find new ways or revive and renew existing methods. To contest forms of social domination and exploitation found within neoliberal capitalism, this is a time and needed intervention, as ever-increasing populations are involved in part-time contract and temp jobs from 16.8% in the US to 46.1% in the Netherlands, as reported in the Green Pepper magazine issue of the subject 2004. Thus elaborating methods of contestation fitting to the current political and social situation to explore directions for recomposition corresponding to these dynamics becomes an increasingly important task. What I want to do in this chapter is not to reopen the question of precarity in its entirety, but to do so would be to reopen the entire history of capitalism insofar that precarity is a foundational dynamic within it, constrained and contained during certain periods by forms of social resistance and the incorporation of these energies and the apparatus of government in the current composition of capital state labor relations.
Rather than mere question of precarious labour in total, the angle will be to explore the county at a moment in a trope for movement building to explore the ways in which it is functioning as part of the point of political recomposition and the formation of a marginal machine within its top positional state. The title, Precarious Understanding. And uh, the audience, we're going to try to pull the audience in as well. Uh, we pull know the that preparedness well. is not limited to the well. world of work. Well. We prepared to define well. it as a juncture of materials and the well. well. conditions which are to the, the sustained access to the resources essential to the full well. development of one's own. This definition permits us to overcome the dichotomies of public, private, and production, reproduction, and to reorganize the interconnections between the social and the economic. So the music is. Oh, the band will be in there. Yeah, they're going to be doing the cover. I thought they were going to be in there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be in there. conditions for certain kinds of material and stability and security within sections of the industrialised West, although this came at a cost in other aspects. Assuaging working class populations through increased material consumption had long been a feature of this arrangement. 